And this one has come all the way from Wales. Uh, great, no, great, great home to be precise. A place I've got very fond memories from being a kid and going on all this mum and dad. If I remember rightly, there was like a dry toboggan run uh, somewhere in the great home. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Here's the beer. Uh, there we go, and it's called Bragadio Gorgoth. Uh, I think that's pronounced. Uh, great Arm Brewery. Arm or Kimru. Kimru meaning Wales. Traditional Best Bitter. Hmm, looks very interesting. Nothing on the bottle cap though, I'm afraid. Let's uh, see how she pours. Here we go, come in a nice sort of dark, sort of deep brownie colour. Is it mahogany? Uh, you could say that. It's actually quite dark, that. Yeah. Surprised. Mm, anyway, I'm getting lovely smells of it straight away. I'm almost getting sort of uh, freshly baked bread. I'm getting like a chocolatey note off that as well, I think. I, I must admit, I think Wales do produce some absolute quality beers. I've never had a bad beer from Welsh brewery, it's got to be said. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of a sniff. Yeah, so I'm getting, um, it's, so it's, bit, it's all about the malts again, this beer. Uh, getting sort of like freshly baked, <laughs> I initially got freshly baked bread, but now that's changed. That's like evolved into quite like, um, almost like a chocolatey note, really, more than anything else. Quite a, a, a dark sort of, dark chocolate smell coming from that. Uh, what else am I getting from that? Maybe sort of like subtle coffee aromas as well. Not much from the hop character, but uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to dive in. So, here we go, cheers. Looking forward to this one, the first beer of 2018. Oh my word, that's really lovely. Ooh, that's really different. It's sweet, it's with a sweet. But I'm getting like a, a fruitiness, like a plum, or um, like a really, really sweet dried fruit flavour from it. That's really nice. The, the, you're getting a little bit of the chocolate coming through as well, like a little bit of chocolate on the back. That's lovely. That's actually quite seasonal. Almost a bit festive. Mm. Body-wise, I'd say it's a medium-bodied, that. Um, Carbonation, just right. Um, I'm giving that a little bit of a shake. The, it's got a little bit of lacing on the side. It's not keeping it that well, um, so it's not clinging to the side that much, which would suggest it's a relatively thin beer. But it's um, no, it, it tastes quite full. It's, I'd say that's a medium feel on the mouth. But it's really nice. Really nice. I like that a lot. Now that's quite sessionable. This is coming in at 4.2%. Um, you're getting toffee little, you're getting little caramelly notes on this as well, like a sweet caramel taste. The malts are obviously um, the predominant feature of this beer. Um, but I, I like this. I'm, I really like this. I like this a lot. Um, Hot wise, it's difficult to say. It's, it's got a typical sort of, it's got a little bit of an earthy grunt, which would suggest some sort of earthy British hop variety, maybe. Uh, we all know, as we all know, Fuggles Gold in that sort of jazz. Um, I'm not sure though, I'm not sure. There could be something else in there as well. I'm going to read about it now, and see what it says. Traditional best bitter on a traditional Welsh, reci Welsh recipe. Uh, a good all-rounder, easily accessible to everyone's taste. I agree. I think I think someone who drinks lager could come onto this one and really enjoy it. It's almost got a bit of a mild quality to it, but a bit better. I like this a lot. Enjoy it. Serve cold at room temperature. Uh, great with cheese board, yeah. Ingredients, Snowdonia water. It's got a bit of Snowdonia water. Um, malted barley, wheat, hops, yeast, uh 
I like, maybe it's the water that makes this taste nice as well. You know, the quality of the water. They've, they've obviously made a point of it coming from Snowdonia. And you would do, wouldn't you, if it came from Snowdonia? Why would you not make a point of that? I love it. I really like it, yeah. Um, it is a little bit different. Um, it's got a slight bittering towards the back. It's not very bitter, this though. It's very easy to drink. Um, but I think there's like a slight chocolatey coffee flavour that comes through on this. It makes it really bit It's subtle. do not overwhelm the beer. And it comes through with this like slightly roasted, slightly roasted malt flavour. But a sweetness and a dried fruit flavour. And I'm almost getting like a like a dried plum or maybe a slight raisiny sort of flavour. Anyway, it scores on the board. I'm not going to dilly dally with this one. I think it's a lovely beer. I think Great Orm, I'm definitely going to be checking some Oreo beers out. This is really nice. Um, I'm going to go uh, with an 8.5 out of 10. What a start to 2018. 8.5. I picked this up at Aldi for £1.25 a bottle. And I've said this time and time again, Aldi, can you start supplying some more real ales from some of these um, smaller breweries? Uh, and especially at that price, £1.25. It is well worth £1.25. If anybody's money that, a really, really, really nice beer. Okay, I'll see you around. I'm on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, I'm obviously, obviously, I'm on YouTube because that's where you're watching this video. Uh, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. blah de blah de blah de blah Love to see, hear your comments. Like I've said before, uh, I'll see you next time.